My dear people, we need to talk. It has been an entire freaking year since I've had this mother flipper. This is, as I'm sure you know by now, the Mio Mini Plus, and it's quite arguably the one device, the one device, not the first device, but the device that popularized the whole handheld market. Actually, it's smaller brother, the normal Mio Mini, showed to all of the companies out there that there's a market for emulation handholds, that there's a lot of us, a lot of zombified, nostalgic, handsome and smart people that would buy things like these. So this prompted me to appreciate this little device last night. I suddenly found myself at around 3 a.m. looking at this little guy with its screen turned off, I wasn't even playing it, just sitting there and appreciating it like some sort of obsessed raccoon which couldn't get over the fact that this thing caused so many waves. And yeah, we're gonna talk about the Mio Mini Plus today. Look, we need to get one thing straight. The Mio Mini Plus isn't special in the slightest. In fact, I would say that it's nothing but an amalgamation of components that are put together and somehow they ended up being handheld. The SOC on this thing was originally used for Wi-Fi routers. The original screen on the normal smaller Mio Mini was extra stock from BlackBerry phones. The battery was as generic as it gets. And this whole thing was nothing special, let's say it how it is. It was, however, and still is a pioneer. A pioneer which got the love and admiration of everyone, and it still gets more of that attention and love than any other handheld, including the way better performing ones like the Anbernic RG35XXH. And I started to wonder, does 2024 still have a place for the Mio Mini? Because in this handheld emulation market, things are advancing so freaking fast that it feels like there's a new model popping up each and every week. And now we have handhelds that are on steroids compared to this guy. We have handhelds with dual thumbsticks, dual speakers, dual freaking SD card slots, dual USB-C ports, and you get the pattern. We have handhelds that more or less double or triple the value offering that we get for roughly the same amount of price. On good days you can find the Anbernic RG35XXH for around 50 to 60 bucks, and usually you find the Mio Mini Plus for around the same price. So what gives? Why in the great Satan's name would I ever recommend this? in 2024 because I am gonna recommend the Mio Mini Plus over way better performing handhelds like Ambernic you're killing me, RG35XXH. Well, the answer is simple, it's because of the software. Quite frankly, as people, we tend to look at the hardware. We tend to look at the performance sheet, at how many systems can it emulate, how good the battery life is, the speaker quality, so on and so forth. I could go on forever with this. But we forget about crucial things that make a product so freaking awesome that you feel it was touched by God himself, or rather God was touching himself when he created this. And that amazing sauce that makes a product awesome is and always will be the software. And this little guy has Onion OS. And Onion OS, for those who might not know, is a custom firmware that you can install on the SD card that you put in the Mio Mini. And Onion OS is simply amazing. There's no other word to put it. And it has things that I never saw in other handhelds well, more specifically, in other Linux handhelds. And some features that the Mio has are so inexplicably absent from other handhelds that they put a lot of people off, no matter how better they are from a hardware perspective. For example, Onion OS, just like Garlic OS, which still hasn't appeared in a stable form for the Anbernic RG35XXH. Both of these custom firmwares, as far as I know, are the only ones which have Hibernate functionality. And you might ask, what is Hibernate? Hibernate is this. Look at the screen, I'm pressing the off button, and it's off, but it isn't really turned off. It's in a hibernate form, meaning that if I turn it on two months from now, 10 months from now, 45 years from now, when my 
grandson finds this semi-buried in a half-torn down house, he will be able to turn it on and he will continue exactly where I left off with my particular game which I played so many years before. Think about this, how awesome is this? We are adults, we have responsibilities eating us alive, it breaks down our mental health, it takes us out from our happy place, from our I just want to enjoy life and be bubbly and have hope for humanity and for myself kind of mentality and it gives us uh, all the responsibilities that we don't really want to have but we have to do because we're not 10 anymore we cannot let somebody else do the hard lifting for us so we don't really have time to game as we would want that's why many of us buy all of these handhelds because there's this tiny voice in the back of our heads that say someday someday Vlad or you someday we'll have the time to play these someday we'll have the time to properly enjoy them in the meantime I'm gonna keep them around for when this fantastical fairy tale dream takes place but it will never take place because we can only play them once in a while we can only play them in short chunks of time we'll have 15 minutes here 10 minutes there we'll think we have half an hour now but oh god we need to make a quick dinner or something or fix the car or fix our marriage or fix the child fix <laughs> the or fix the cat i think don't fix the child you get the idea Point is, most handhelds go in standby. For example, custom firmwares for the Anbernic RG35XXH Anbernic, please change the naming scheme. You are driving me up the freaking wall. But most of these handhelds, irregardless if they have custom firmware or not, at most they have kernel level standby and they never have hibernation implemented. Meaning that in the best case scenario, a kernel level standby will continue to consume electricity. You'll roughly lose 6% of the battery per hour, which you might think is good or bad. I personally think it's horrendous because I remind you, I can put this little guy in hibernate and he can literally be turned on 400 years in the future. This little guy can be turned on literal months in the future and he will still have battery and he will still be right there for you to enjoy you won't have to worry about anything having hibernate in a handheld like this is such an anxiety killer it's amazing i wish other handhelds had hibernate i will literally do jumping jacks and dedicate my life to figuring out quantum physics and space travel if only the guy behind garlic os would hurry up and release a stable version of garlic os 2.0 for the next generation of amber neck handhelds but i doubt this is gonna happen i actually have this suspicion that he might have given up on this effort but until then the mio mini plus will never ever not be relevant the Mio Mini Plus will not fade into irrelevancy. This will always be the perfect pocket warrior. Your best e-waste friend, which will never want to retire. You can take it anywhere with you. You can go on a vacation with your family. You can go to the Grand Canyon. You can play it on a freaking rock in the Grand Canyon. And you will genuinely enjoy yourself. Because the Hibernate functionality allows you to have as much battery as you need when you need it it's so damn easy to forget that your handheld is in standby and when you turn it on 10 hours later you realize you have six percent battery left but not with this guy this guy is the best friend that you can have in your handheld collection he's always there for you he will never let you down he will love you as much as you allow it Links in the description for it if you want to buy it. <laughs> no, seriously, if you don't have a Mio Mini Plus, I don't want to make you buy a new device, but this device should be the baseline of your collection. Either this or the original Mio Mini, both of them work. I would personally go for the Plus because I'm blind as a bat, but you should 
always have a Mio Mini in your collection. This is the benchmark of what an emulation handheld should be. It won't run the latest systems, you will never see it run Dreamcast or PSP, but I'd argue that you don't need to. Because PSP looks like a fermented backside anyway if you squish it on a 3.5 inch 4x3 display. So yeah, I wanted to get this out of my system. I think that people do not worship this enough. I don't mean appreciate, I mean worship. There are very few things in my life that I treasure more than this Mio Mini. And keep in mind, I am slowly getting spammed with handhelds because of this channel. So this should say a lot. But anyway, if you love my borderline neurotic rants about pieces of plastic, make sure to subscribe. I love seeing you subscribe. This channel is small and each and every subscription brings a smile to my face in real life. I'm not even joking. You make me happy in real life if you subscribe. You can be the catalyst for that change. Do you want me sad or do you want me happy? You get to decide. And by the way, if you want to support me and to help me buy new devices, to give my thoughts on for you fine people. You can also become a channel member or a Patreon. No matter the tier that you choose, you get to be featured in each and every one of my videos and your support would mean tremendously to me. Humor aside, I really appreciate when I see that the content that I do resonates with you fine people, with you fine nerds. And that's why I love you. You are my nerds and I am your nerd. If we were to like go back and think of the social contract, you know, Hobbes and Jean-Jacques Rousseau, they were the first ones that created the first concept of a social contract, we would be part of the same village, we would be the ones that would stick together, because we are so awesome. And I really love you all. I'm not gonna say that you are my tribe, but all of us together, we create a tribe that we can be proud of, that's how I see it, and the more this channel grows, the more we find like-minded, awesome people on the internet that we can resonate with. Anyway, the, I don't want to go too off topic with this clip because I'm already recording for 23 minutes. I'm gonna have to edit so much that I'm gonna hate myself after this. In any case, we'll see each other in the next clip. Bye, my sweet nerds. You know I love you.